Welcome back my people. Before I start this discussion, I always appreciate your support and the far you have taken me in a short duration. I never knew whether this channel will, will grow in such a fast rate, but it's all because of your support that I'm where I am within a short period. So, for those who have subscribed, feel appreciated, continue liking and sharing our content so that it may reach the whole world. Let's get back to our point of discussion whereby we will continue discussing about sources of food poisoning. Sources of po food poisoning. So, the next point is what we call Diphelobotrium latum or fish tapeworm. It rarely causes noticeable symptoms and it's found in raw or undercooked fish, specifically in raw or undercooked fish. Undercooked, it means it has been cooked but not well cooked. E, ah, the next point we have E. coli. E. coli takes three to four days to show symptoms and it's found in red or undercooked beef. Red or undercooked beef. Uh, it, can, it can also be found in raw lettuce and other vegetables, raw sprouts, and pasteurized milk and contaminated water. Most of these microorganisms can be found in contaminated water because almost each and every boy point we have to touch contaminated water. So this shows the importance of using clean and uncontaminated water. Next we have endorobiasis or pinworm. It rarely causes noticeable symptoms and it's mostly transmitted by touching a contaminated surface or through close contact with a person who has a case but can also be caused by improper food handling. Improper food handling means that you may handle food with dirty or unclean hands. Next we have Gardialabia. Gardialabia. It takes one to two weeks to show symptoms and is found in contaminated soil, contaminated meat, contaminated water and can also be uh, caused by improper food handling. In almost all these points, you have to touch on improper food handling. So if you are preparing food or you are handling food, you must handle it properly and with the proper hygiene. Let's say for example you are having diarrhea now and vomiting. Your hands come in contact with the vomitors. Then you touch a plate or a sufuria with the food. You will have contaminated that food and transferred this kind of a disease to the, to the other people. Next point we have Listeria monocytogenes. Listeria monocytogenes. It takes one to four weeks to show symptoms and it's found in unpasteurized dairy products like milk and soft cheese, melon and uh, raw melon and raw uh, dairy products. This means that if milk is unpasteurized, chances of having listeria monocytogenes are very high. And this takes us to the importance of boiling milk 
properly before you use especially before giving to children or young toddlers next we have what we call norovirus norovirus takes one to two days to show symptoms one to two days to show symptoms between 24 to 48 hours it shows the symptoms and it's commonly found on oysters and other shelly fish lettuce and other leafy greens fresh fruit contaminated water and can also be caused by improper food handling why is it that after every point we are talking about improper food handling this means that before you handle any food products your hands must be clean this marks the end of our discussion today and tomorrow we'll still continue discussing about uh, the sources of food poisoning so let's continue subscribing liking and sharing our videos and i hope these videos are helping somebody in the community have a good Friday.